day 68. It's Christmas Eve. Today I had so many, so many synchronistic moments happen, including bumping into a friend who uh, <clears throat> was going to text me today. And she is someone who about three weeks ago texted me with, do you want to get lunch on Thursday? And then I had gotten overwhelmed and I forgot to respond. And then on Thursday at lunchtime, I bumped into her at the store. So I guess the answer was yes, even without me confirming. And today I bumped into her again. And it was probably one of the only times in my life that I had the next four hours for free. And so did she. And we hung out and talked. And we talked so much I lost my voice. And we were outside a lot too. And uh, it was really an incredible experience and such a great reminder again of how much I don't need to plan my life. I just need to go step by step by step and just really follow the excitement because there were some things I was going to do that something in my soul just said you can't do right now and it didn't know why it just said it's not even those other things weren't amazing or awesome it was just something saying you gotta go you gotta just not do that and you need to do something different and then you know I bumped into this amazing person and it was totally platonic and everything like that. It's just that, you know, she had said that this week she had kind of had a tough week and fallen apart a lot and let go a lot. And up until then, she had kind of been very ambitious with a lot of things. And uh, I was saying, when you're in a world where you're going, how do I do this? How do I do that? You're not trusting that there's something bigger than you that can that can see more things it's it's looking from a different view it, it can see bigger things and when we're saying how do I do something we're bringing in the story of ourself who doesn't know anything about how the world works and it, and it would be like it would be like <coughs> getting your computer your computers broken and then calling like a Best Buy employee to come fix it and then while he's fixing it you're sitting in between him and the computer going how do I fix it? What do I do? And he's just like, go sit over there. I got it. And you're like, what do I do? And he's like, go sit over there. I got it. And like, there, there's like a giant Best Buy computer repairman for all of life trying to come through. And we're so freaking ambitious to get to the next thing that we're blocking it from giving us the next step. And she had said that this week she kind of just fell apart and usually she's in this place of what do I do but it got really way too overwhelming and then it was kind of weird that at the end of that we bumped into each other because we got to talk a ton and this and there was a service I got to do which was helping her and giving her thoughts but then I felt so helped just by feeling and purpose by being able to help someone and then she was so insightful for me and had so many wonderful things to say for me and what the entire scenario, not just her, but the whole scenario did was reminded me how never wrong that calling in your heart is. And everyone's calling is different. And it's saying to do a thing or it's saying to let go of a thing or whatever. And really some bizarre kind of miracle-y things have been happening for me lately. They really have. And when people hear that and they go, that's just crazy talk, they believe that's crazy. So the, everything goes, okay, you got it. It's not possible to have miracles happening because you're putting out, you're thinking it's not that possible. So if you're hearing me going, that's crazy, you're doing it based on what you've seen so far. And I'm, a, I'm telling you, I've had so many insane, weird, crazy synchronicities happen in my life. And some of it is, um, you know, I get that it could be a coincidence. Maybe just my awareness is higher, so I'm paying attention more. And I'm finding things that are amazing that other people would cynically go, oh, that's not that amazing. That's just this thing or whatever. But it is so weird how much I will talk about something and then it'll show up. It happens to me all of the time. And 
more and more I expand my edge of what I believe is possible and then it comes right back. And I don't mean mentally believe. That's that's you trying to trick yourself. Like you got to embody yourself through meditation, through through trusting, through leaping, through different things, proving to faith or whatever yourself even, just proving to yourself that you Trust that it will do something. So when you are staying in a scenario that you don't like, you're saying, I don't trust that I'm going to be taken care of, and you're going to get back you're not taken care of. You have no access to the next big thing when you see yourself's worthiness as the thing you're holding on to that you don't want to be anymore. So just to give a measurable example, if you're holding on to a $40,000 a year job that you absolutely hate, I'm talking about something you hate. If it's your love, do what you do. But if you hate it, you're saying, I'm, I believe that I'm worth only $40,000 a year and that is, I'm, I'm scared to death to access anything more. This is what I'm worth. So when someone comes by and offers you a million dollar job, you will think you're not worthy of it and you will be nervous as hell and it won't sound like it's in alignment for you because you've just said to yourself, your identity is someone who makes $40,000 a year doing a job or 20000 or whatever it is. It doesn't matter the numbers. I'm just trying to give you an example. So if you're in a bad relationship and you're holding on to it like crazy and then an amazing possibility uh, walks by but you're still holding on to that, you won't even see it. It'll, it, it's something that you will believe is so out of your league. So there's things that you can't see, like you becoming a rock star, or you becoming um, one of the most impactful people in the world, or you becoming a Gandhi or an Oprah, or you becoming the best in whatever your field is. There's a limitation to what you believe you could do, and that limitation is based on your past, and it's a lie. So if you think, God, I could be the next guy at the company to to bring in 200,000 in sales. You could be the number one salesman of all time. You could be the number one, whatever it is, of all time. And, and your lack of being able to feel and nervously connect to your bigger vision is blocked by your statement to yourself about what you're worth based on what you're living from and holding on to. So if you're holding on to a situation that you don't like, you're saying who I am is my circumstances. I'm not bigger than my circumstances and my circumstances run me and I'm going to hold on to this. And then you're and then picture you're a rocket ship trying to take off but it's got a weight tied to the bottom of it. And that weight is you saying, "Okay, well, I got to stay down here to have this job that I don't like. I got to stay down here to, to do these things. And meanwhile, opportunities are flying by, but the rocket's not there to catch it because of the, the weight that it's holding on to. So now my new thing is like, wow, life really lines up in a miraculous way when you really go with the flow of what your heart wants. It doesn't mean just use that to as excuses to do nothing or anything. It just means what does your what is the most exciting thing to you? that there is? Is it to go rent a cabin and write a book? Is it to start playing guitar? Even if you can't see the results, what is it that you want to do? Is it just build buildings in a, in a, in a different way? Is it, there's little things calling us all day and we can't expand ourselves till we answer the first calling. And then when we do, then a new level will show up and then we got to listen to that one. And then we expand ourselves again and again and again. So I am at a place where I believe now more and more that life is totally what I used to see as miracle after miracle. Now it's just how life works. It's not like I'm going, it's a miracle. It's like, yeah, it's normal more and more and more to have insane, crazy, synchronistic things happen all day. Because the one time that I had four hours open in my schedule, I bump into someone who doesn't live near, by the way, where we were. And I really don't either. And we just saw each other and she was like, I was about to text you. And we just had the most fun, flowing, powerful, impactful day by, and, and I was in so much purpose. I wasn't trying to figure out what my purpose was. I wasn't trying to, you know, like, what do I, what am I here to do? Like, it just all came through me. The things that we said, the conversation we had, the things that she can move towards in her life the things that I now move towards in my life, it was just so magical. And we couldn't have even planned that. I guarantee if yesterday we said, do you want to get lunch tomorrow? We would have bailed on it. Instead, we bumped into each other. We, have, we were more likely to see each other by not planning it than planning it. So that's 
what I'm experiencing is a massive expansion in how miraculous life can be. And as I believed it more in the last three months through meditation, through letting go, it has been. Like so many things have come into my life and my career um, that we're all in contract still about, so I can't tell you yet, but I know I will be able to before we're done with 100 days. And some things I'm, I'm gonna be announcing, there's something I'm gonna be announcing for the East Coast very soon. So um, yeah, so happy Christmas Eve. Um, you are, you are the, the world and the universe truly, I believe, is a mirror of what you believe. And when you say, no, it's not, it goes, you got it. And you will find proof that it's not. And when you go, it is, you will find proof that it is. And I have had nothing but evidence that massive, massive, amazing things can happen all of the time. And I now am embodying for my soul and myself and, and just letting go of my fear of what people think of when I say that and just owning that, yeah, this is a freaking miraculous life. And it's what we believe it is. And so... I'm having so much fun really experiencing kind of a magic of amazing things and amazing timing because I have so many stories of the craziest things that have happened even just in the last week. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. And uh, uh, day 69 is tomorrow Christmas. Huh.